Hi everyone, welcome to Finet. Today we are going to be talking about the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. But before we begin, we need to first define what a stock exchange is. According to Statista, a stock exchange is a marketplace where stockbrokers, traders, buyers and sellers can trade in equity products. The Johannesburg Stock Exchange, also known as the JSC, was formed in the myths and excitement of the South African Gold Rush, also known as the Witzvaterstand Gold Rush. Founded on the 8th of November 1887 by London businessman Benjamin Miners Woolen, the JSC was known then as the Johannesburg Exchange and Chambers Company. The exchange was popular and by the end of November 1887 had over 68 companies registered on its official list. In January 1890, the exchange had over 300 companies listed. Some of the oldest South African companies listed on the JSC are the brewery SAB Miller, now known as AB and Bev, listed in 1897. Cement and lime producer PPC Cement, listed in 1910. Pulp and paper company Sapi, listed in 1937. Industrial brand management company Barlow World, listed in 1944. The most important dates in the history timeline of the JSC. 1947, South Africa had legislation covering financial markets which started with the Currency and Banking Act 31 of 1920, which was later replaced by the South African Reserve Bank Act 1944. In 1963, the JC joined the World Federation of Exchanges. In 2001, the JSC acquired the South African Futures Exchange. In 2003, the JSC launched the Alternative Exchange, also known as Alt-X. In 2005, the JSC demutualized and listed on its own. In 2009, the JSC acquired the Bond Exchange of South Africa. Presently, the JSC covers the equities and bond markets of South Africa and has financial, commodity and interest rate derivatives on their platform. Where does the JSC stand when compared to other exchanges on the continent? To do this comparison, we must use market capitalization in US dollars. When we talk about market capitalization, this is the total of all the tradable equities of a listed company. The calculation is share price multiplied by the number of outstanding shares. These are the top 10 exchanges in Africa. At number 10, we've got Ghana Stock Exchange at a market cap of $12.68 billion. At number 9, we've got Zimbabwe Stock Exchange at $19.42 billion. At number 8, we've got Stock Exchange of Mauritius at a cap market cap of $20.64 billion. At number 7, we've got Nairobi Securities Exchange at $25.79 billion. At number 6, we've got the Nigerian Stock Exchange with a market cap of $32.13 billion. At number 5, we've got the Botswana Stock Exchange at a market cap of $41.3 billion. At number 4, we've got the Egyptian Exchange at $44.2 billion. Number 3 is the Casablanca Stock Exchange in Morocco at $60.86 billion. Number 2 is the Namibia Stock Exchange with $138.37 billion. And of course at number 1 is the Johannesburg Stock Exchange at $1.15 trillion dollars, the biggest exchange in Africa. According to the APSA Africa Financial Markets Index report of 2021, this is an annual report that evaluates financial market development in 23 African countries. The top five rankings for 2021 are 
At number one is South Africa, followed by Mauritius, Nigeria, Ghana, and at number five is Uganda. When compared to the rest of the world, these African exchanges are tiny, including the JSC. Here are the top five largest stock exchanges in the world as of October 2021. At number five, we've got Japan Exchange Group at $6.68 trillion. Euronext in Europe is number four at $7.38 trillion. Shanghai Stock Exchange is at number three with $7.77 trillion. Number two is the NASDAQ with $24.07 trillion. At number one is the New York Stock Exchange at $28.24 trillion, the biggest stock exchange in the world. Because we live in such a highly globalized world, whenever these global markets are down, the JSC also goes down. International investor sentiment has a big influence on the JSC. The JSC plays a significant role in South Africa's economic development since its inception and continues to do so today. In its 2020 annual report, JSC Chairman Nongkululego Nyembezi briefly touches on this and said, and I quote, Although the JSC cannot itself address these structural economic challenges, we can preempt the possible impact on our business by developing products that are tailored to the direction the world and the markets are taking, end quote. Are you invested in any company on the JSC, directly or indirectly? Let us know in the comment section below and your thoughts on this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. See you on the next.